now. So again, thanks to David Iser. And we have, believe it or not, just one moto left. It is this one, 18 to 24 college class. We're going to be done before 5 o'clock here in Daytona. And we are underway. Means all the all you can eat buffet for Megawatt. About time. <laughs> one meal a day. Are you one of those guys? Oh, man. It was the uh, 51 of Jace Kessler with the whole shot. And he's got Coquinos right behind him. So Kessler versus Coquinos at least early. And there's that number 91. We've seen him up front uh, quite a bit today. Orion the Hunter. Orion Gregory is in third. And there's another guy. His name's been <laughs> on the air times? all yeah. day. He's yep. been in position all day. He's up front. He's a player. Mm -hmm. You know, the guy. The guy's relevant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what you like to see. These moto mercenaries, as you call them, just head back to the gate. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Kessler versus Coquinos. Coquinos with a big rhythm. Tries to take advantage down to the inside. Wasn't quite close enough to make that block pass work. He actually checked up to avoid the collision. And that allows Kessler to pull away just a little bit. Coquinos coming right back at him. Coquinos, blue collar man, bringing it. The number 444 idolizes Frenchie, Greg Paymart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and do it all. Uh, Helping these guys out. Yeah, there comes Gregory. Really working hard on that far left, man. Put a great drive in up to the wall. Oh, trying to close that on, uh, trying to close the gap on Coquinos just a little bit. Loses some time, got bogged down in the beach. Logan McConnell right behind Gregory on the number 604. Dylan Kuna on the 55 slash. One lap in the book. Ace Kessler out front, start to open that lead up just a bit. The 444, Justin Coquino still followed by Orion Gregory. Logan McConnell still hanging in there on that 604, trying not to let this lead group get away. Chase Kessler trying to put in the laps and do work right now. So, Two grinders. I feel like Kessler and Coquinos have been at this for yep, a while. Exactly. It's kind of an odd class. This 18 to 24 group. Yep. You're not like the old guys. But for as past age 18, you certainly raced quite a bit. For sure. And it's a fun one to watch. And Orion Gregory, the hunters, trying to hunt them down. And I'm going to tell you right now, look for the number 777. Okay. Look for him to start making some uh, passes here. All right. I will uh, I'll be glad to see it. We want to see some action. Late. Dylan Kuna, as usual, trying to make the come from behind charge on the 55. He is seventh. Harrington right behind him. Blake Hazen is sixth. Corey Karsten. Is that Corey right there? It is. It is Corey. Oh, I can't believe it. Corey's not all riding a Suzuki. No, on a Husqvarna. Barry, yeah. I guess they had to switch it up. Yep. So that's fitting. Barry wins, and his son's out there in the very next moto. The double moto mercenaries. <laughs> and Corey making moves here. Corey getting aggressive. It, Goes by Logan McConnell. And, and let me tell you something. It, it's the years and it's the equipment, but a very different style than his dad had in the day. Uh, very yeah. different style than his dad has yep. now. Uh, like I said, because of the equipment, because of the tracks. But this kid is aggressive. Yeah, Barry, yes. Barry yep. was solid. Wear you down, uh, you know. Make your tongue hit the spokes and, 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 run, and run you over. Now nah, this kid's more aggressive than that all day. He's got a different style. Yeah, you saw it right there. Scrubbing it, making the move for so sure. Corey Karsten, I believe that's fourth place now. Trying to make Dad proud. Dad's already down at the podium, hanging out, getting his tools, getting his box of tools. Getting his, yeah. getting his seat. <laughs> Man, I was impressed. I actually saw them at Redbud. Corey was racing pro. Barry decided to race amateur day, and I'm like, man. Still chasing contingency, and he said, no, this one's actually just for fun. <laughs> he actually did race a non-contingency race at Red Bud. Why not bust the bike out and do a moto? But he used contingency money from the week before to pay his entry. Oh, so. no <laughs> doubt about it. No money was spent. It's all on that Suzuki card. Jace Kessler and Justin Coquinos. Ah, it's not quite over. Coquinos is trying to get back to where he was on lap one, which is in this section here, closing in. He needs about and, three, four bike lengths. And see, it just looks like he picked up a little energy yeah. right there. Like he I know. You know, got a little extra spark, uh, possibly hit the reset button, as we say. 
All right, we will take that. We want to get one more battle before this race you is over. Know. Our final race of the day. Absolutely. James Kessler at the Eagle, Michigan, Coquinos. Longtime player. He's one of those mercenaries up in New England. Where he'll race every class he can. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, Almost oh, lost oh, it back oh, in, oh, landing oh. that jump. You know what? I bet you that's one of those things he won't even remember. No. It's all instinct no. for these guys. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Yeah. Time running out, too. It's coming after Coquinos. This day coming to an end right here. And I've got to tell you, man, I've been impressed by so many people in so many ways on so many levels today. I'm here to tell you. Yeah, I agree. All ages, all genders, man. I don't care what. All skill levels. It's I, been fun. I, oh, Kessler gets sideways. What? But because of the lap rider, Coquinos oh, really didn't have anywhere to operate. Oh, it's going to be wheel to wheel. Yeah, it is. Coquinos has got to drive. Oh. oh, this is what we were wanting. This is the battle we were looking for, man. Lappers coming into play. Slicing and dicing oh. through. Coquinos, that was some serious effort. You would have wow. thought that was a pass for position. Absolutely. All right, so Coquinos going back to work. Mm. Out of Hanover, Massachusetts, backed by Factory Connection, Hutch Motorsports, and, of course, the WIC 338. Running out of time, Jason. Kessler back by O'Neill, 100% Shuey, Monster running Energy. Out of time. Yeah, running out of time. It's going to be checkers here. Yeah, going to have limited opportunity yeah, here. Might be one to go after this. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's one to go after this. Coquinos has got to get this rhythm dialed. This is where he's made up his ground. Oh, traffic to help him now. Showing him a wheel. Oh, Almost near came disaster together again. for both. Yeah, near disaster for both. How about Kessler getting all the way to the left? Anticipating where that lap traffic would be. White flag There's the white flag. Let's make the last lap of this thing as good as every other. <laughs> Let's do it. And we got it. One on one duel for the lead. Coquinos and Kessler. Clear track ahead for both right now. Mega, what if he comes down to a block pass in the final quarter of the last lap of this whole event? That's what <laughs> I'm we want. it does. Last turn, last race, last lap. A lick it and stick it pass, boy. <laughs> yep. Last turn. We're done. And uh, Corey Carson moved up to third. He's gotten around Orion Gregory. So going to be two podiums for the Carson family mm -hmm. at the end. Kessler's getting it done, man. He's wow. rallied on this last That's lap. That's it. Absolutely. He said, I'm out of here, man. I'm not, I'm not into this. After that tunnel, the drag race to the wall, he really, really got a good drive. Knew it was go time. Was focused on nothing but getting to that rhythm section. Well, good job, Jace Kessler. The pressure was coming. He responded. And now the final checkered flag of the week is... In the air, and it is Jace Kessler out of Michigan taking the college 18 to 24 championship. Man, and it's a wrap, Weeds, wow. just as quick as it started. It has come to an end. And those guys respect each other. I yes. mean, Coach Kinos yep. once or twice could have really hit him. Oh, yeah. Let, let me tell you something. There was so much sportsmanship this yep. weekend. I saw more, <laughs> more than one opportunity to really yeah. pound somebody, T-bone somebody, slam somebody, park somebody, punt somebody. The opportunity was there, and these guys have done a great job. Did see good hard racing, too, when necessary. We saw did. a few times where they did take the opportunity. Ab absolutely, oh, yeah. you bet. Yep. So, uh, you know, titles on the line down here, hard work, uh, hard work. <laughs>